Appleton man is going the distance for a good cause. Ironman triathlete Brian Grunder is running with Team Triumph nonstop from Kenosha to Appleton. That's a 135-mile trek, and it's all to raise money to benefit men and women who have served our country. Fox's Brett Bogansky caught up with the team on day one of their two-day journey. I just look at what if it was me, and if it was me, I'd want somebody out there helping me. It's a tribute and commitment for the men and women who give it their all. I feel we all have promises to keep to these guys that are overseas fighting for our freedoms, and uh, they're making ultimate sacrifices, so what's uh, two days of running, right? And two men are running 135 miles from Kenosha to Appleton. With the help of a few pacers and veterans carrying the American flag. To see other people kind of pick up the flag, so to speak, and carry on for the cause. Every stride and dollar raised goes to help purchase a racing chair. Well, the war's not over for them, the battle's not over. They're coming home to a whole new challenge. For veterans who aren't able to run or walk anymore. And then as a team, we push the chair during the races, and they just have a bat blast, and they keep us. You know, on, on high all, all the time going through, we have a, a good cause to draw attention to our soldiers that were lost. And I'm an Army veteran, and it's pretty emotional for me. They say it's also been an invigorating experience, starting at 3 in the morning Saturday. We've had some police escorts, which is really cool. We're getting a lot of uh, people beeping their horns and waving at us, and we haven't gotten the finger yet. So it's like, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good. And also patrons outside the taverns on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, it's been a great journey so far, so uh, looking forward to the remainder of it. Next stop, Appleton. Brett Bogansky, Fox News. And we will catch up with the runners for their big finish in Appleton tomorrow. They are hoping to arrive at Fleet Feet in Appleton on College Avenue around 1 p.m. Then they will compete in a 10K run where they'll be pushing disabled veterans in those racing chairs.